There's another link here in the document that is uh, for Ngram, which is Google Books. Now, this is searching not web traffic, but the books that have, uh, what's been written about in newspapers, uh, sorry, inside books. So let's just take those same search terms. So let's type in global warming. Now the good thing about this is because it's in a book, I can search for between 1800 and 2000. Um, and so what I can do here is you'll notice on this graph that there's nothing written about global warming until about, let's say 1978. At around about 1985, we get this incredible jump in stuff being written about in terms of global warming. So it's a really interesting way to look at the history of a word. Now, if I wanted to chart global warming versus climate change, I just need to put a comma between the two words and we'll be able to look at both of those together. You'll see that global warming and climate change roughly follow each other. There's a correlation, but climate change has incredibly uh, continued on that projectile uh, more than global warming. Now, for those of us that are teaching high school, you might want to uh, investigate the reason why the search term or the term global warming has started to plateau, but the search term or the term climate change has continued to increase in popularity. So why is it that we're now starting to change our language from global warming to climate change? So there's so many different applications that you could use this for in the classroom. So I'd encourage you to get in there, have a play, get your students correlating results, searching for things, looking at trends, uh, but both online trends and written trends in books, and then start to ask the question, why? Okay. In the session this morning, we talked about question everything. And so one of the great things that we can do is question why. Uh, and this starts to give us the views to be able to do it. Now, obviously, this is looking back into the past. We can't get a, a trend correlation on that. So Ngram Viewer, have a play with it. Awesome tool.